Beyond the Blue RC1, and today I have another Technic model. This is, of course, the Extreme Adventure, 2,382 pieces. So many is in this. That's what it looks like. It is, of course, comes as a non-motorized, non-powered kit. I modified it to be a powered and motorized kit for myself. So, as you can see, it does go forward. Let's go back. Plenty of power to get up on that. Back up off this. Oh yeah. Yep. The motor here. Still have the motor in there. Still have the V8 in there. Still works. Still works. added light so I've got two light kits running from two uh, light buckets here back and two light buckets here and back nicely wired so you can't even hardly see anything that was a pain by the way major pain to get all that wired <laughs> to look nice it really was so doors still open like they should Awesome feature, so I wanted to make sure I kept that on there. I did install a regular steering servo right there. That so pretty much goes straight down in, and you've got. Steering, proportional steering, not not where it just goes boot and gets stuck there. They had it. I've seen some videos where they did it with a medium motor, and I just did not like that. It was a, it was definitely a much bigger pain to get this to work, but in the end, the performance just it just looks it works so much better. So it was worth the extra headache to try to get it get it to work. So, everything still works on it. The, uh, the winch still works. And then you just pull this up, wind it back up. No worries. Uh, everything really pretty much still works on it. The rear end still comes up. This um, cover, extra storage, camper, whatever you want to call it, still operates like it's supposed to. But still opens like it's supposed to. Of course in here I've got the battery box. You can see it. And I got the battery box installed. And uh, this 
still operates like it's supposed to. Pull the uh, shovel out still. Get everything that works on it still. These still come up. I did remove the two plates that were on each side though, because there wasn't enough room for them. So I had to kind of rearrange the way I had the uh, fire extinguishers. So one I was able to install and have it stay in there. This one's loosely in there. But once you close the doors, no worries. So yeah, this thing works great. I'm impressed with it. And then I'll put it back down. You just have to kind of just watch the wires. Kind of guide them down if you need be. If you get hung up. Everything goes in there just like it should. Put that back in there like that. Door still closes. Turn it on and off. I can just reach in there with my finger and just turn it on. Turn it off. And I installed the uh, receiver up on, on the top roof rack. And of course, I mounted a XL motor on the bottom straight into the back of the uh, rear diff and just kind of re reinforced it, braced it with some beams. Some beams here, right out the back, and then some reinforcing beams. Uh, let's see. Right here. Some reinforcing beams here to the uh, suspension, independent suspension, and back through to the motor to kind of get a little bit more. Give it a little bit more uh, rigidity. So no, cr no, no. Uh, Crunching of the of the uh, gears does it like it's supposed to. When you kind of back into something, you get some resistance. Then you kind of go, not you don't want it doing that on basic operation, going back and forth to be just crunching. So I know I had uh, I saw a video of a guy that installed his XL motor. Took his, he took his V8 out and installed it up here, but because of all the gearing and the, and the uh, drive shafts that go through and then down and around, he was getting some crunching, you know, without even really any resistance, just kind of just basic starting and, you know, once he got it going, it was all right, but yeah, he was getting, I definitely didn't want that, so I thought about doing that, but I was like, you know what, I'd like to uh, be able to keep the V8 up there, so I don't really want to do that. So I got to think of another way to do this. I know that you can um, mount motors lean on the sides here. But I didn't want to really buy five or not five, four large motors. That would get kind of expensive. So I wanted to keep this as budget friendly as possible. So one XL will do it right out the back. You can buy four large ones and install them on each side and get rid of all of the diffs and, and drive shafts, but that gets kind of expensive. Just a little bit, not real expensive, but I've already put enough money in this thing as it is with it having to buy just the basic stuff. So I don't want to spend any more money on it. And this is actually plenty of power, plenty of torque to uh, do what it needs to do. Get it on the floor here, and we'll see how uh, it operates on the carpet. All right, we're back over here on the on the carpet here in the living area, and let's 
see how she does. Oh yeah, that's great. It's not uber fast, but... We got plenty of torque though. Definitely a lot more fun with power functions. Trying to push this thing without power functions with the way the steering, the manual steering was rigged, engineered, it was just hard, hard to turn. That drive shift went straight through, went straight through the um, the roof and then kind of angled itself down towards the front where the steering rack is and it's just pain in the butt to steer. But yeah, overall I really like this truck. Especially with power functions. Might be one of my favorites so far, I think. Yeah, I like it. All right, back over here in the bar area, and I'm just going to uh, do a quick overview of what I've done so far. One more time. Kept the uh, V8 engine, the mock motor. Still, everything still works. Doors still work. As you can see, that servo, standard servo in there. And then I'll just have to move the seats out a little bit to each side to get it to fit. But everything still works. I don't know if you can see the way I wired the lights, but they're in there. Routed them through uh, where the uh, gear shift is. You see that zip tie? It's where the wires for the uh, the lights go from the front. They go through there and out th out the back to the battery box. Where I've got a uh, switch actually right here. I have a switch right there, and that's where the lights plug into and then the switch plugs into the battery box that's in the back back in here yep so the battery box is back in there everything still works suspension still works everything works nicely like I showed the uh, Winch still works. And just this gear right here turns it. But of course, it's kind of hard to do one handed here. Well, I can just do this. Set this right there so you can see it move. As I do this, I'll spin it up. or modify just the way things were sitting up on the roof rack there but to fit the receiver on there I got it plugged into the uh, these side rails there and then into those little ports that are on the side of the IR receiver and battery box back there get a closer look at that See that in there? Nice and snug. Did have it? Oh, I do have an extension wire running from the motor from the, the motor 
main drive motor, that XL motor, to the um, to the receiver right here. Then that receiver, uh, no, it goes from the main motor goes to main wire goes to main motor goes to here, and then the extension wire. Main motor wire goes here, then the extension wire is here, which then runs. I had, I had to run a uh, kind of a, a roll, wire rolled, I don't know what you want to call it, and then up through and then to the servo, servo now, up to the uh, IR receiver. The motor, main motor wire running from the motor was not going to make it. It wasn't long enough. So luckily I had a uh, extension wire handy and I was able to use that to uh, make it up to the receiver, the IR receiver. So yeah. Uh, let's see. I do believe that's really it. I do like the lights. They were a pain to run. I kept getting hung up on these doors. It took me a while to get them just right so the doors would still operate. But they operate great now. So, it's Beyond the Blue RC1. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, and please subscribe.